The chairman of Hindustan Aeronautics has said that the first flight of the Tejas Mark 1A fighter jet will be conducted by March 2022, and the first Mark 1A aircraft will be delivered to the Indian Air Force by February 2024. Clearing all the rumors on the Tejas Mark II program, he said that the rollout of the first Tejas Mark II prototype will happen in 2022, and all testings and certification will be completed by 2026, and it will enter production with certainty. He also added that during the F-414 engine selection for the Tejas Mark II program, US firm General Electric has proposed transfer of technology of around 60% in a phased manner of certain agreed parts for manufacturing in India. However, technologically critical parts of the engine will be restricted by the US firm. He also said that the DRDO has put up a request to the Cabinet Committee on Security for sanctioning the development of the Tejas Mark II and AMCA project. The AMCA Mark II fighter jet is expected to enter production in 2035, and it will not be just an upgrade from AMCA Mark I, and will feature advanced technologies including stealth and super cruise speed. The DRDO chief has said that the Rustam 2 UAV will fly at 30,000 feet for more than 18 hours in January 2022, and once ready, Hindustan Aeronautics and Bharat Electronics will begin production of the Rustam 2. The DRDO has also announced that it is working on a new high-altitude long-endurance drone in pusher configuration, and two prototypes are already under construction, and it will conduct its first flight in 2023. India has issued two no-time warnings for the launch of experimental flight vehicles for the period for 16th to 17th December, and 22nd to 24th December. The designated area for the first no-time is 739 km, that indicates that it will be the test of a cruise missile, and the second designated area for no-time is for 1,272 km, that could be for a ballistic missile. While speaking at a seminar organized by the DRDO, Defense Minister Rajnath Singh has asked the DRDO to fast-track the development of hypersonic cruise missiles to maintain minimum credible deterrence against the enemies. Officials have said that the DRDO will conduct another test of its hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle by early 2022, and it will take at least another four years for the indigenous hypersonic weapon to become a reality. During the event the Defence Minister also handed over the DRDO developed counter drone system, smart anti-airfield weapon and modular bridge system and advanced chaff technology to the Indian Armed Forces. The Ordnance Factory Medoc is developing two modern command and control modern vehicles for the artillery and infantry wing of the Indian Army, and both these vehicles have started trials and are likely to be inducted in the next few months. The upgradation of the BMP-2 armoured vehicles are also underway, and the Ordnance Factory is fully geared up for manufacturing the Namical launch vehicle for NAG anti-tank missile. <laughs> Troops Comfort Limited, that has recently been carved out of the Ordnance Factory, has launched a bullet-resistant helmet with blast attenuating capabilities from its Sivadi unit. It provides protection against 9mm carbines SLRs and AK bullets. The Indian Institute of Technology Delhi and the Indian Air Force have signed an agreement for various developmental projects to support the requirements of the Air Force, mainly related to areas involving technology development and finding indigenous solutions towards sustenance of various weapon systems. The Ministry of Defence has sought inputs from industry bodies, on proposals which suggests that the ambitious strategic partner concept is set to be diluted, in order to co-opt the defence public sector companies into the model. Under the strategic partner programme, only the Indian private sector were to be considered as bidders in collaboration with foreign original equipment manufacturers, but the public sector have hit back to force a rethink on the model. 
some of the major programs that was planned to be concluded under the strategic partnership model includes Project 75 Iron Naval Utility Helicopter Project.